Hello Facebook and social media viewers, I'm Jackie Hauer. I'm Clint Tennis. And we're with Zimmerman's Automotive. And this is the second edition of our Revved, Revved Up, up Roundtable. Round table. <laughs> and we will be discussing car topics from Z to A. Now I know we're heading into warmer months, but the way our spring's going right now, we're still having our colder mornings. So wanted to talk about bulky clothing and car seats. Now a lot of people will think that it's okay to keep their kid in a coat like Luke is wearing here. Uh, to, to keep them warm. Uh, it's, it's a natural thing for parents to think that their child needs to stay warm. Unfortunately, this is a very unsafe thing for a child. So I'll show you a demonstration as to why we need to make sure that we are keeping the coats off. So Luke, let's get you strapped in here, buddy. Thank you, bud. <laughs> You're doing a good job. All right, so as you can see, it almost looks tight as it is. So once we get them in, get them all strapped in, that's about as far as I can go. So what I wanna show you now is I wanna take him out of the seat without loosening the straps and show you when he doesn't have the coat on where, that, where those harness straps take place. So Luke, let's get you out of the coat. Thank you, dude. Okay, so you sit back down again. Good job. Now, when we put those straps back on, you can see just how loose those straps really were for Luke. So now that he does not have the coat on, you can see the straps were quite loose when he had the coat on. But when he doesn't have the coat on, obviously this is not good. So you wanna make sure that you have the, the coat off the child whenever they're in the car seat. If you're unsure about how cold they're gonna be, just get a blanket on them and just stuff it around them and that'll keep them sufficiently warm. All right, now my coworker's about ready to fall asleep here. <laughs> what we're gonna learn is about proper placement of the shoulder straps, the chest clip, and also the cross strap. On the shoulder straps, with uh, Penelope here being about two months old, uh, with her being rear facing, just remember, the shoulder straps always have to be a little bit below the shoulders on there for proper placement. The chest clip, you always wanna have the chest clip just even uh, with the armpit, and also the uh, cross strap, you wanna have that just a little bit in front of the, um, in front of the crotch area. Now, obviously this is really loose, but once you got everything all in place, once they're into the seat, all you gotta do is just pull the adjustment strap on there, and then enough where you can get your finger underneath there underneath the uh, shoulder strap and you're all good to go, okay? Now, as soon as she gets a lot older, uh, this should grow with her for a little while until she's ready to go into possibly like a convertible car seat or something uh, that may be more suitable for her age, uh, her height, and her weight. And uh, just remember, with uh, them being rear facing, they have to be rear facing for up to two years. Thank you for joining us today for our Revved Up Roundtable. And just a reminder that Clint and I both are car seat safety technicians certified through Safe Kids Worldwide. So if you ever have any questions, please contact us or stop by. Thank you for joining us. Bye. <laughs>